Yo, what's going on guys? So I want to talk about the Cobb Access Port. Now the question is for some of you, is it worth it? Yes, motherfucker, go get that shit right now. Bottom line, yes, the Cobb Access Port is most definitely worth it. Trust me, trust everybody that says it. Go get it. Plus, you need the access port. The access port is your gateway to mods. It's it's just a gateway. It opens the door to everything. Once you get that access port, you can do anything you want with your car. If you're thinking about modding your car, hell, you need the access port anyways. I'll explain all this when I get home into more detail. But bottom line, yes, the cop access port is worth it. See you when I get home. All right, welcome back. So let's continue what we're talking about. The Cobb Access Port. Is it worth it? Fuck yes. It's the first thing that you should get for your car. You don't believe me? I mean, just ask my mans. Yo, tell these people about the Cobb Access Port. Everything you know about it, man. Let the people know. Get it. All right, not a man of many words. The Cobb Access Port is a must have. We all know the stock tune on the car is shit. It's fucking shit. The rev hang sucks ass. First gear sucks ass. Shifting from first gear to second gear sucks ass. Sudden boost of power at low RPMs sucks ass. It, it's, it's horrible. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You're at a red light. You're just trying to take off easy and cruise. You know, you're not racing nobody. You're just trying to go. You know, you're at 20% acceleration in first gear. And then you hit 2K and <coughs> Get fucking slapped in the face with all that damn boost and you just take the fuck off. Yo, yo, simmer down. What the fuck? You guys know what I'm talking about. It's shit. I have ran the Cobb Stage 1 91 Octane Tune, which is essentially stock motor, just a tune. And I've ran MA Performance's Stage 1 91 Octane Tune. Now, between the two of them, personal opinion, MA Performance's map is way better than Cobb's map. That is my personal opinion. But I mean, you can look at videos all around the internet, it's better. So one of the biggest things though, going from stock to that stage one tune, is the smoothness. Oh man. I know you hear it, you watch videos and you hear everybody say the same shit. Smooth is smooth is smooth is smooth. Look, it's fucking smooth, all right? This is you driving your car stock. Bullshit, right? Now this is you after you get your tune. <laughs> Just the smoothness alone makes it worth it. Now obviously you're gonna get a little power boost also. Now it's nothing too significant, you can't feel it. Your car is gonna be faster but it's not a, a huge jump. The smoothness aspect of it with that little bump in power, man, it makes driving so much fun. The Cobb Access Port, it is a must have. And that's just, that's just, we're talking smoothness and the bump in power. I'm not gonna get into monitoring real time numbers. I'll make a separate dedicated video for that if you guys want, but it is worth it, man. Now I know that's easier said than done. A lot of you are probably in a situation where you're worried about your warranty. If you really want your warranty, and if something ever came or happened to your car down the road and you need that warranty, don't don't get the access for it, man. Because once you flash that map or that other tune on your car, they're going to know. You could get claims denied when you flash maps and do upgraded parts in your car. The warranty is a big thing for you. Like, you need your warranty. Like, it's a must-have. I need my warranty no matter what. If something happens, I just need it. Then don't get the Cobb Access Port. Don't mod your car. Stick with a uh, axle back or even a cat back. That's essentially pretty much it. Just, just do that to your car, make it sound nice, and go from there. But for the rest of you, if you're one of those people that you like working on your car, you have a no, little bit of knowledge, or you're the kind of person that you know you can watch DIY videos and be like, you know, I can do that myself. And if something was to occur with your car, you're confident that you can fix it yourself, or you know somebody that will fix it for cheap or something like that, then yeah, man. I, you need to get the access port and you need to mod the car if that's what you want to do. But essentially, you know what you want to do, man. You want to mod the fucking car. You want to. 
Do what you want to do. Don't let something hold you back. Don't let fear hold you back. I want to mod my car so bad. It's been a dream. I want this. I want to do this. I want to do that. But if something happens, I don't have a warranty. I can't fix it. I can't blah, blah, blah. And don't let that bullshit hit you up. You make choices and you don't look back. That's Han, Fast and Furious. The Han. Shouts out to Han. But real shit, that's what it just comes down to, man. Make the choice. Buy the access port, mod your car. Don't buy the access port, don't mod your car. Plain and simple. That's why I said it's good to understand your car. Work on your car a little bit. Get comfortable with your car. Then that fear aspect of if something happens, is going to go out the window because you're confident. You're going to be like, you know what? If something goes to happen, I think I could probably fix it myself. But yeah, man, the car back to support is definitely worth it. It is fucking worth it. And if you're going to mod your car, you're going to need it anyways, but it is worth it. I suggest the majority of you get it. Especially if modding a car is something you want to do, it's a dream, it's a hobby, it's whatever. Get it, all right? Just fucking do it. Go for it. Go big or go home. Plain and simple, people. Thank you. Get it. I'm just waiting on fucking parts to come in. I got so many parts ordered. Just waiting. Like I said, I got parts coming. I'm just waiting. It's just a waiting game, so... I'm just patiently waiting for these parts to come in. But once I get them, I'm gonna slap them on. I'm not gonna do install videos. I'll just do like time lapses and then I'll do a is it worth it or is it not? But to end this, the call back to this port, is it worth it? Fuck yes. Jay approved. Peace out, homies. <laughs>